DDS, or Data Distribution Service, is a communication standard used in all critical applications, such as autonomous driving, intelligent transportation, connected healthcare, consumer and industrial robotics, military tactical systems, even to launch missiles into space. For example, when the AI of an autonomous car needs to turn left, DDS is used to transfer the command from the brain of the car down to the servo motors to tilt the wheels accordingly. And the same happens in the opposite direction, when speed sensors need to send information up to the brain. Another example is when an operator inside an air traffic control tower needs to illuminate the runway of an airport. In that case, the GO signal is transmitted by a software, and there, DDS is used to ensure timely delivery of the command. Despite not known, DDS is used in millions of devices everywhere in the world. With this research, we disclosed 12 CVEs across the top 6 DDS implementations, plus one vulnerability that affects the specifications of the protocol. We are working with the Standard Maintainer Object Management Group, or OMG, to ensure proper revisions of the standard. One of the vulnerabilities that we discovered allows a network attacker to crash a DDS node. This can have significant impact on safety. What you see here is a turtle bot. It's a prototype autonomous robot based on the same concept of real-world autonomous cars. In a normal situation, the obstacle is detected and the stop message is properly delivered by the sensor nodes to the motor nodes, which stop the vehicle. If an attacker exploits this vulnerability to crash one of the DDS nodes, the stop message is not delivered in time, causing an accident. Here you see some participants in a DDS network, with a node sending a discovery message to all the parties. They could be devices in a distributed system, like sensor in a car, or the lights in an airport runway. In a normal scenario, the message simply propagates and the sender will receive responses. We found out that it only takes one malicious participant to create a network amplification condition, or a network not using DDS security extensions properly, which are a good countermeasure, but they come at the price of a higher latency. This vulnerability leverages a corner case in the DDS standard specifications, so all implementations are inherently vulnerable. This can only be mitigated by limiting the outbound throughput, like some implementations do. However, this would not eliminate the traffic reflection capability entirely, which could be abused by an attacker. There's no way to eliminate this vulnerability completely without changing the specifications. An attacker can leverage this and other denial of service vulnerabilities in various ways. For example, to create an extortion-based attack. And remember that in critical applications, even a simple DOS attack can have serious consequences, especially considering that in embedded systems, we're not dealing with high bandwidth networks, so it's easier to cause network malfunctions. In the light of our findings, we encourage other researchers, DDS users, and implementers to contribute to increasing security awareness. We also want to promote continuous security testing of critical software components such as DDS, because in these applications, we simply cannot afford patching. For this reason, we release open source tools that researchers and DDS developers can use to implement continuous security testing, and we believe that this shifting left approach is the most effective and forward-looking mitigation. If you're curious about the details of the research, make sure you follow our talks at Blackett Europe, at the Ross Industrial Conference in Germany, and at the S4 Conference in Miami.